Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, this is day number five on my road to recovery after surgery on my hip. If this is the first video you're seeing in this series, subscribe to this channel, hit the playlist, and you'll see a walkthrough of each day and how things are going on my road to recovery. Please keep in mind, this is in no way medical advice. This is just uh, my personal experience. Make sure you're listening to what your doctor is telling you and following their advice. So for today's video, I have uh, a viewer, Tori, who is saying that they have this surgery coming up and they're asking a few questions. So I am going to talk to and try to answer those questions. Again, just from my point of view, not necessarily what you're going to be experiencing, Tori. And part of the reason I say that, Tori, is that for my surgery, I had a bad torn labrum. There was a lot of fraying going on in the joint. They uh, shaved off part of the bone because of an impingement issue. And also, I had to have a micro fracture. So I'll kind of tell you what is happening with me, but hopefully your experience might not be quite uh, as involved. So as far as your questions go, you're asking, what's it like getting in and out of bed the first few days? What's it like getting on and off the couch, in and out of recliner? And do did I need help? So my answer to that is, it's challenging getting in and out of bed the first couple of days, especially day number one. And did I need help for the first few days? Yes, I did. So keep in mind that it's not just the actual act of getting out of bed as far as like how much it hurts or something like that, but it's also that you have, or at least I have, all this equipment on me, right? So I need help getting this stuff on and off. My doctor's telling me that they don't want my hip joint to go past 90 degrees. So what that means is I can't get to this equipment on my own. I have to have someone help me out with it. And you can't just sit here in bed all day either. Again, that's what my doctor's telling me. You'll have to listen to what your doctor's saying. But my doctor's saying that they want me kind of up and about and on my crutches and getting around the house a little bit. So <clears throat> that means that I need help every time I'm going to get this stuff on and off. And this equipment needs to be on anytime I'm sleeping, napping, resting, even kind of just laying down for a while. This stuff needs to go back on. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. Also, as far as needing help, don't forget you're going to have physical therapy starting just a few days or maybe a week after your surgery. So ask your doctor about that. When's physical therapy going to start? And also, I would ask how long um, you are going to be unable to drive for. So I got kind of lucky that my surgery is on my left leg. But even with that said, I'm still not supposed to drive for two weeks. So that means that I need to find help as far as getting to and from physical therapy and uh, any other errands that I need to run as well. So keep that in mind. And also, as far as getting around the house, Tori, like let's say you're reading a book in bed and you want to go walk around a little bit with your crutches and go sit on your couch and read that book. Well, you know, how's that book going to make it to the couch? So keep in mind, your hands are not going to be free and they're going to be on these crutches. So it's the little things it, that I'm finding challenging that I'm so grateful to have help for. So if I absolutely had to, you know, do you have to read the book on the couch? Well, no, I guess not. But uh, it really helps to have help. So my best advice is you definitely need it for the day of surgery and the first couple days after, at least I did. And from there, it gets a little bit easier. But at the same time, you need to figure out what are you going to do with this equipment? Talk to your doctor. How much does it need to be on? How much does it need to be off? And then, uh, you know, kind of figure out a game plan for yourself. But big picture, get as much help as you can. All right, friends. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you tomorrow.